I am Michael Levitt. I'm a computational structural biologist, quite a mouthful. Computational structural biology is a use of computers to study the fundamental building blocks of life. Like almost everything in the real world has a certain shape, and that shape gives it function. So basically inside us, on a very, very tiny scale, are like pieces of a mechanical clock, all fitting together, all working together, and this is sort of what makes life tick. The official title for winning the Nobel Prize was multi-scale modeling for complex chemical systems. Multi-scale is when you make models that have different levels of simplicity. Well, if you think about uh, a molecule being like a clock, uh, getting, and you can imagine thinking about a clock at different levels, we're able to then uh, model the behavior of these molecular machines. They generally are made of protein, so these are machines that have certain shapes. And in the computer, we were able to use these representations to predict how a protein would move, how it would function, etc. So proteins basically make almost everything that's biological. And understanding how those molecules make what they make, how they have the shapes they have, how they change their shapes, is essential. My real passion was for computers, but although they didn't really exist, and I remember when I was 14 hearing that a computer could play tic-tac-toe. And I was just so amazed. You know, I could understand how a computer could add numbers, maybe multiply numbers. But playing tic-tac-toe just seemed to me to be like thinking. Meditation is basically to calm your consciousness, basically eliminate consciousness. And what people don't realize is, is that inside our brain, we have many little departments. I think my model of how the brain works is like that TV series, The Office, where basically there's a really annoying CEO and quite competent people working below him. And he keeps on interfering because he says, has it been done? Has this been done? And I think that the brain has a creativity department and a math department and a writing department and an art department, etc. And they're actually very good at getting things done. And when the manager walks around saying, has it been done? Has it been done? He's just getting in the way. So I think that meditation is to treat your consciousness to not micromanage, to be there, to be aware, to be in the present moment, and the ideas will just come.